All right. Third and final time. These five-minute limit limits are killing me here. Um, John Wilkes Booth, again, the assassin of President Lincoln. Um, Lincoln uh, and his wife were um, just about a week after the war ended. Uh, they had gone a couple blocks from the uh, White House uh, and were taking in a play called Our American Cousin, sitting in a private booth. Um, no pun intended. Um, and then uh, Booth came up behind them, uh, shot the president in the back of the head. Uh, president died uh, later on that next morning, uh, actually at a home across the street. Um, Booth leapt from the the box where the president was, and it's it's a good jump. I'd say it's about 10, 12 feet down. Uh, landed on the stage, actually ended up breaking his ankle, um, and there was a horse that was waiting to uh, whisk him away. Uh, and then for 12 days, which seems crazy to me, uh, Wilkes Booth, uh, John Wilkes Booth was on the run. Uh, the idea that the assassin of the president uh, could not be found. He ended up being tracked down to a um, a barn in Virginia. Um, and the barn was set on fire and he was shot. There's a little bit of a discrepancy about um, uh, how exactly he did die, whether it was because of smoke inhalation or because of the, uh, um, the bullet. But anyway, um, that is uh, John Wilkes Booth. And then we get to um, the consequence of the war. Well, the big one is slavery is over, right? So the 13th Amendment that is later passed in 1865. Um, the federal government becomes uh, larger. New paper currency, that green money uh, that we have, or at least we sort of used to have now for all kinds of different colors. Uh, the income tax to pay for the war, that was relatively new. Um, more money being spent on education. If you look at a lot of our even close by institutions, UNH, UMaine, UMass, all uh, started either right after the war or during the war. Manufacturing uh, becomes even more important in the North. For the South, it's economic disaster. So much of their wealth had been um, in the in the form of ownership of people. Um, it's estimated that about 33% of the wealth in the country was maintained by the South before the war. Um, but after the war, it was somewhere between 10 to 12% um, because, you know, someone might say, well, I have, uh, you know, I'm worth... $50,000. Yeah, but if 40,000 of that is the ownership of slaves, then, um, and all of a sudden, your that investment um, seems weird to think of a slave as an investment, but that's gone. Um, and then also just, you know, fundamental things like uh, animals being killed, crops, machinery being destroyed, railroads destroyed, all of those things uh, led to led to ruination for the uh, for the South. So then we end and end with a time called Reconstruction. And with Miss Kloss, that's what you'll talk about where um, with Reconstruction, of course, there is no President Lincoln to lead that Reconstruction. All right. Um, I would encourage you, uh, if you have any questions about anything we've gone over um, through this unit, then please uh, ask me. And, you know, even once the test is handed out, if you have any questions, um, hopefully the uh, assignment here will help out a little bit with some recall. Um, it's one of those crossword puzzles. So just paste your screenshot here. Um, and I will, uh, I'll chat with you guys uh, when I post the test on Tuesday. All right. Bye-bye.